Chapter 18. The Night I Gave Birth to the Puppies. It was Tuesday night, July 13th, 1994, and I had managed to keep Evie relatively calm and distracted. She was watching me every second. Even though she was following me, she was nervous and I wasn't, so I was able to examine my possibilities. I had one other thing going for me. I could tire her out. She could never stay up as long as I could. After walking through the apartment a half a dozen times, I knew there weren't too many places to deliver my babies. I needed to be alone when I delivered them. The living room had a big, comfortable couch. It was the kind of couch Evie could easily fall asleep on. Evie lay down on the couch and put on the big TV, trying desperately to stay awake. Evie had placed me on her stomach so that she would know if I moved. I just had to be a little patient. I could see that Evie was fighting to stay awake. I kept looking at her eyes, and I could see that her eyes kept closing. Evie kept feeling for me when I tried to move away. As soon as I did, she opened her eyes to find me. This went on for most of the night until she finally fell asleep. Once she was sleeping, I had plenty of time to find a spot to deliver my puppies. I must have walked around for an hour looking for a perfect place. By the morning, I had found the perfect place. I also knew that my puppies were coming. Evie woke up early in the morning and realized that I wasn't on or near her. She panicked and started to call my name. I could hear her calling me. I knew she wouldn't find me, and I also knew that I had picked a good spot. Evie was now racing through the two rooms, throwing things around. She couldn't believe that she couldn't find me. She checked the two closets, the bathroom, the tiny kitchen, and the cabinets. Then she realized where I was. Just about the time she realized where I was, I was about to deliver. Evie worked fast. I had been hiding under the king-size bed. The king-size bed in the bedroom was actually two twin hospital beds. The hospital beds had wires underneath them, and I had found a spot between the wires. Evie threw off the bedspread, then the pillows, then the sheets. She then moved the beds apart very carefully. As soon as she moved the beds, she saw me. As she picked me up, my first puppy was about to come out of me. Evie held the first puppy in her hand while she moved me to a nice, comfortable box lined with a nice blanket. I looked at Evie's face as she caught the first puppy. I wasn't the only mother that night. Evie was a proud mother, too.